My name is Saki, spelled with a S-A-K-I, and the business is Tenuka Property. How I started, I'm working very hard. I come in this country and I took the opportunity and uh, the motivation, and do I have the motivation? And if you have a motivation and you want to work, I will come to you. The new couple of penny will make it because I come with five pennies in this country. And that's the reason I ask couple of penny. I want to make it five different places. But so far I make it just two of them only. One of them downtown and one of them over here. And we sold one of them downtown, the bug one, the Rasnissis. The couple of penny have a nightclub, they have a bar of track bedding. Banquet facilities, we do a lot of weddings inside, a lot of castaneras, parties there. Why did you use Linz? I was living here in Linz, on a Hoyt. And, uh, and I thought about, you know, maybe you're close to Linz Park. In those days, you know, there was a tavern for sale, we took the tavern, and pretty soon, little by little, buy another building, another building, another building was the day we owned the two acres property. With all the buildings turned down to make the parking lot. And there was a good opportunity and I took it. A lot of work. Little by little we rented on the first time and we have a little savings and we put it down. And from then, little by little working, you know what I mean, buying this, buy that one and pay. I come from the old country, Greece. And uh, the Greek have uh, motivation themselves, a lot of them. Uh, we don't have no welfare. We're working and we hustle for work. That is our religion and work. We believe in that. We never give up. And always you're gonna make it. Sooner or later you're gonna make it. If you wanna work. And if you go to church, of course, you know what I mean? Because in the church, they gather with your friends and you feel and you believe in the religion. Why the culture, background? Because we're born there, we're working hard, we're coming with the opportunity. The United States, it was the opportunity for any human being if you want to work. You don't do drugs, you don't do bad things, you know, you just go to work and take care of your family. And now you're making it. That's the reason they call the country with the opportunity. How I come to Portland? I come to Portland because we knew a few people from here of the Greek community and, uh, and I thought about they're going to come over to see it and they come over here, you know, and I see them and pretty soon I started working and there we are, you know. I choose to be in Oregon and uh, I choose to have the business over here at Lens because Lens is a good place to be. and. Uh, they do have a lot of nice people all the way around in Lens. And someday we're gonna get together, all of us, you know what I mean? We're working for a better environment. We have a good community and we have excellent. And we're supporting a lot. Most of the business people supporting the community and the Boys and Girls Club. I like the business, to, to build the business. And, and if you started yourself something, you can let it go. You gotta be on top of it, you know what I mean, all the time. And uh, any little slight thing we have, we have to call the cops this way, they're not gonna be great, become a bigger. That's all it is. And uh, I like the business, like I any work, this is my work. If I'm sitting over here, talking to you, or anything else, we have a lot of banquets inside we're doing, and that's to bring you you want or not, you gotta be inside with your business. The big challenges you have, you have to meet yourself all the rules and regulations of the business you have. Like for example, Oregon Liquor Control Commission. You have to be a fair understanding the law. You can't give the, any alcohol to the minors. You can over serving a person. So many years we have the business, close to 42 years, we never get a ticket for a minor. Then you have it, the police department, you gotta be cooperate with the police department. 
all this organization, the city, the licenses, everybody else, you know, whatever exactly the fire marshal, you gotta be on top of it. You can't just let it go. You know, whatever they tell you to do, that's the law. You gotta do that. And that's the reason if you walk like a customer's inside, you ask him for a drink, we're gonna serve you a drink, but if you want something different, the answer is no. That is most of the business you have to, if you don't relate the people, they have the power, the OLCC, the police department, the city hall, everybody, you know what I mean, they have organizations. And those organizations are looking for the community, how you have a licensee. And since you're doing the right thing, they trust you. We're friendly with them, with all of them. We have nothing against them. Well, for the future, we hope, you know, if PDC involving to uh, build something what's Lynn's needed. You know, it's something, uh, a nice grocery that'd be okay, you know. Uh, they gotta be, spend some money the Portland developer community in Lynn's because so many years right now, close to 20 years, always say they're gonna do something and they never do. Because we'd let, let them go this way. But at the same time, for so many years, it's another organization, one, uh, the one you belong. Which one is that? Rose. Rose, yeah. Rose developed a community with uh, the guy, you guys, Fisher? Nick. Nick. Yeah. He's a great guy, and uh, whatever they say they do, they're doing it. <laughs> but the Portland developer community, no. Are the question you guys are probably involved in there, fight everybody. <laughs> we create a lot of another business. We come over, you know what I mean, over here we started and we create different business and a lot of people that look in the lens area but they're waiting to be fixed first before anything else. Because if the PDC they are the helping out to the business people except they're buying the buildings and they let them store it. They buy this building over here for a, almost close to two and a half years. They did nothing with that. They buy another property here, buy a property there, buy a property there. They're not here to buy a property. They're here to help the business people or if you want to buy yourself something, a business that can help you out, but they're not doing it. Well, we get to the Christmas parties, you know, inside the facilities we have, the bank good. And uh, now the 30th of this month, uh, we're selling some tickets and uh, all this money, they're gonna go to the boys in Cross Club and I'll be involved inside, you know, we buy everything. I donate everything, we're gonna be inside there, just raising the money from people. Yeah. Welcome you guys to buy a ticket, it's $50 a ticket because we need to have a $2,000 for the boys in Cross Club. They're gonna buy those backpack. Why I support this is the only thing you feel you have to do. You know what I mean? Just, uh, they don't need to have astrology on top of it. You know, they're doing good things. They're putting the kids together and they educate them. That is the problem we face. And if you don't educate your kids, you know, don't expect, you know, to be, to be a good girls or a good boys. You know, and they're doing an excellent job, the boys and girls club. Well, I was coming from the old country, you know, was the orphanage because of my father killed. And uh, for three and a half years, you know, I have the feelings and I know how they look like, you know, to me to help me now. Somebody else helped me before, that's for me now to help back. And that's payback right now. Very important to help somebody. I feel I feel comfortable if I see, you know what I mean, I can help some families, you know, there's uh, on a Christmas, we have a, the boys at Gross Club and a little boy asked for uh, something, one that I have, they're going to say remote, con remote control car. And uh, there was a black kid, you know, nice sweetheart. I'm talking about back, you know, I'm going for 15 years back. And uh, I asked him, you're not believing in Santa Claus? He said, no, I'm not. No, Santa Claus is not here. And I got from the guy that was 
managed the place, and I got his name, his address, and at Christmas Eve, I took myself the remote control, I knocked the door, and the mother was there, I called the house first. The mother, the, the father was split, and I say ho, 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 I give him the Christmas present, and I walk out, and I left. Then since then, the guy, well from now on I'm gonna believe the Santa Claus, because it was very good. And the, the mother and father go back together because of that too, you know. You help him, anybody who can. Greek community here in Lens. Now the, the big community is 33 in Gleason Street. We have a church there, the Orthodox Cathedral. And uh, we go on Sundays to the church and we do a lot of activities uh, with the church. And we have our one association what they call the Agro, Greek Restaurant Association. If a kid's in cancer, we have a property over Sunday. And we're taking all those kids, you know, the ready from Don Becker, they're very sick. And we do feed them for the whole week and they stay there with the father and the mothers, you know. And we do a lot of good things for the community. And you're the president of the Greek business? I'm the president for the Agro Greek Restaurant Association. I was at the Greek church for uh, nine years on the Paris Council and two years for the president.